Greetings, Mars here, and welcome to episode 57 of my modded Factorio playthrough. In this episode, we are going to use some transport drones to try to handle some of these byproducts that we're building up from our oil sand processing. Enjoy. Let's see, before we do the invar, let's try to clear out some of this mineral oil a little bit. Because drones are a good choice for this. Because if we go into barreling here and look through all of this stuff, we need to find out what container type do we need for mineral oil. Looks like just straight up barrels are what we need. And we need steel to make barrels. So let's make some barrels. I don't know exactly how many machines, but let's have a decent output. So let's make four machines worth of barrels. Although we can use this opportunity to actually research Invar first. Forgot to put that on there. While we're spending time fixing our mineral oil situation. So let's make some barrels. They're not inserter limited. We need to get steel in here. Okay, looking good. Let's see, what belt to use? Probably this one right here. Because we can just set up another depot right here to accept the barrels to be taken over there. Okay, we need another supply depot. We're going to need a bunch of road surface. Probably a bunch of drones. The problem with barrels is that they're very, uh, not very dense. So there's only 10 of them in a stack. So you're actually going to need quite a few drones to move them around. Let's start with uh, 20 of them. Now you'd need a lot of them very quickly when you have a full uh, container like we have. But once it's caught up, we won't need nearly as many. Send that in there. Put a stack inserter. Let's give it a circuit condition. Hmm. Probably want a lot of barrels here. Let's do 10 drones worth of barrels, which is 100. So if less than 100, fill up. Now we have barrels on the network. I'm trying to use the existing road network as much as possible rather than putting new roads around. So since we had a road right there, let's use it. We're back here and we have a road here. Naphtha is running dry. Let's see, instead of running a road all the way up here, Let's just use this existing road right here. So let's do a request depot. Let's see, let's move this up a little bit. We can put the request depot there. And then let's do our barreling pump. Right there. And then let's do another supply depot on the other side of it. So we want to barrel mineralized oil. And have our supply depot right there. Some power. And some lights. I'm not sure how fast this thing is, so let's just put a stack inserter. So a stack inserter going in, and a stack inserter going out. We don't need to have a limit on here. 
because any barrels we put in here are going to get moved somewhere else. So we're going to request our barrels. And let's say our 10 stacks of barrels. So it delivers the fuel. And now the trucks are going to go down to get those barrels. And we need to hook this up. And let's use an overflow valve here. So we don't want to barrel everything, just what we have to, to prevent the system from clogging. Now that we do that, there's a little bit more room and the process starts up. We only have to do something about this too, because that's almost full as well. Drones are coming in for the barrels. Seems like they're acting a little weird right there, oh well. Let's expand this and add another drone to supply depot here because I want to do something about all of this because that is quickly clogging up as well. Unfortunately that quantity of residuals is immense. So let's just put those three inserters there for now. Red belt going out. Okay, drones are coming back. And that worked, but I guess it's not connected, so we need to connect it here. And now that we do, it barrels very quickly. And just like that, we're full there. I'm not exactly sure what that did. It didn't seem to do a whole lot. Well, we might have to scale this up and put more drones on here to move barrels faster. But let's start with 10 and see what happens. Meanwhile, we have our residuals here. So now we need a shared warehouse for all this stuff to go because it's basically byproducts we can't do anything with. So we need to have like a depot somewhere <laughs> uh, where all of this stuff can go. I'm not sure where a good spot for it would be. Probably somewhere that's not necessarily too far away from here. But it's also somewhere where we're not likely to build a bunch of stuff. Maybe in this corner right here. So let's build some warehouses. Let's start with uh, four of them. Hmm, looks like we're not getting any copper anymore. Why is that? No oxygen. How do we completely run out of oxygen or is it clogged up somewhere? Ah, yes. See, the problem that we have is that it's not nighttime yet, but we're completely full on hydrogen gas, so we're not making any oxygen right now because there's no room for it. So once we have some accumulators on there, we'll be able to have a circuit network to make sure there's always some room for this energy to go. Right now there is no room because it's daytime, so the system is just going to stay clogged until uh, the sun goes down, which is pretty close to now. Okay, let's do the warehouse part right here. So we need some request depots for all of the resources which are considered byproducts and we have no use for and we want to get them stored away somewhere safe. So let's do one and two. And for the first one we want some mineralized oil. Let's just do say 10 drones worth. And the second one we want the oil residuals. Let's just say 10 drones worth. Let's see what happens. Let's do two stack inserters. Probably don't really need them, but let's do 
far side and near side. And then we just need some warehouses here. We'll start with our four. And have fast inserters going into each of them. Light to see. And then we'll connect that. So fuel trucks are on the way. And then out go the trucks to pick up the resources. That's quite the convoy. Definitely not creating nearly enough barrels to keep up with this. It's trying, but hmm. <laughs> well, there's a couple of researches we can do to improve drone performance. Like improving stack capacity would certainly help. And making him go faster would help, too. <laughs> it's turning into a highway now. The drones come in, deliver resources, and they just get picked up by the first available warehouse with space, basically. We don't care where they go, we're just filling everything up right now. Luckily, the residuals can be moved much faster because the stack size is so much larger. I did a drone count of 10 for the barrels. But let's up that to uh, 50 and see what happens. So we need to increase the storage to 50 drones worth of barrels. And then we need about a hundred drones added to the network here. It's nighttime, but we're still not producing very much copper. Let's see why it is. Ah, it's coming. It just took a while to clear up all that space to burn away all that hydrogen. Yeah. That's something we're going to have to deal with soon. Okay, let's put 40 more drones in here. That's going to be a huge chain. Okay, let's put a couple trucks in here. Looks like we need some more. Looks like we've uh, completely run out of lead as well. Probably for the same reason that lead requires oxygen to produce. So let's put some more trucks in there. Seems like it's only alerting us when we're putting new trucks in, and then after it has a second to clear up that the fuel trucks get the job done. Looks like we're actually gaining naphtha. So I suppose this is enough trucks to get the job done. and we are reducing the amount of residuals that we have. Well, let's go grab some of... Oh, the alert went down again. Hmm. And yeah, let's put some drones in there. <laughs> Just crazy. I see that the drones are quite busy. 7 out of 10 are going around doing stuff. So let's put 40 in there. Looks like lead and copper finally caught up, but it's about to be daytime again, and then they're going to shut down. So we got to handle that before we get to Invar here. Luckily, it's pretty straightforward. To start with, we're going to want to grab some of these accumulators, which we have quite a few. 
And let's grab some power poles, too. Let's see, let's grab... 600 of them. And then we can go in here and take 600 off of this list. So that'll be... 11,800. And then copy it. And now we slightly reduce the amount we need to produce. So where do we put all these things? Well, they're going to take up pretty much <laughs> a whole bunch of space just like this. Hmm. Well, down here in this corner is kind of unused and it seems like it might go unused for some time. So let's place them down there. And let's find a nice convenient place to start placing them. Probably like right here. We can use some landfill to make this nice and flat. And let's space it one space apart so we can actually walk under there if we had to. And then we just let the robots do all the work. Although it looks like we need some more. Okay, there's all the accumulators we have for now. It's uh, already fairly massive, and it's only a tiny portion of what we would actually need <laughs> to cover this whole base, so we're going to have to find lots of space to put it all. And that's the end of this episode. On the next one, we are going to use the circuit network to create an electric latch, which will be very useful in integrating these accumulators into the electrical network. See you later.